Welcome back, friends. My name is Ryan, and I am here to celebrate the creativity of home bartenders just like you. Now, before we get into today's recipe, I have decided that it is story time. And now, this particular story begins with one of my favorite YouTube bartenders, Anders Ericsson. Now, a while back, Anders published a video in which he made 12 variations of the Moscow Mule. And this honestly is one of my favorite videos of his because in this video, Anders displayed this sense of experimentation and willingness to try anything in the, the Moscow Mule template uh, just to see what would work. And it's honestly one of the videos that I keep going back to watching over and over again to get that sense of inspiration. So anyways, after he uh, published this video, a couple days afterwards actually, I had a dream. And in this dream, I was at a restaurant in which on their menu it said Tropical Mule. I thought, hey, that sounds pretty cool. Let's order that. And But instead, what was brought to me was not a mule, but was a watered-down margarita. And when I brought this to the attention of the waiter, all he did was laugh in my face. And that's when I woke up. Feeling quite unsatisfied, as I'm sure you can understand. So, obviously, then I needed to try to figure out what a Moscow mule, I'm mean, sorry, what a tropical mule would be. And so, that is what I am sharing with you here today. All right, so for the main spirit, uh, I have decided to use a pineapple rum. And in my humble opinion, there's really only one pineapple rum worth using, and that is the Plantation Stiggins Fancy Pineapple Rum. Now this particular one is the limited edition Smoky formula, which I've not really tried yet, so I'm kind of excited to see if that has or does anything in this particular drink. Uh, and then instead of using the bitters, the Angostura bitters that Anders put into his recipe, I'm using Velvet Falernum to add more classic Caribbean tropical spices to it. Uh, and then obviously we're gonna have lime juice and ginger beer, and then freshly picked mint from my garden as a garnish. All right, so that's all the ingredients you need. Let's build. All right, now I've already got my copper mug filled up with ice, so let's go ahead and start building the drink. Let's pour on in two ounces of the pineapple rum. And to that, we're gonna add half an ounce of velvet flurnum. Three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Now, I'm gonna take my bar spoon and I'm gonna stir that up a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna top it off with the ginger beer. There we go. Once again, a little stir just to incorporate everything. Take our mint, give it a little slap to wake it up. Place it on in like so. And there it is, the Tropical Mule. Let's have a taste. Oh my goodness, yes. It's quite refreshing. The pineapple comes through. You get the flurnum, the, the cloves, and the, the sp other spices from the flurnum really come through. The ginger beer is nice and spicy and refreshing. This is a great drink to sip on when it's a hot day outside, just like it is here in the Dallas, Texas area. It's quite hot, so I'm going to enjoy this <laughs> uh, for the rest of this afternoon. All right, so there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a recipe that you would like to share and see featured on this channel, please follow the link in the description box below. Or if you just have a name of a drink and would like to see what I can come up with for it, drop it in the comments. All right, thank you guys so much. Check you later.